guess what i have found some really beautiful fashionable as well as comfortable items of clothing at guess guess where the 99 cent store yes i said the 99 cent store as well as thrift shops and also an antique shop you can be fashionable at a really really inexpensive let's be real cheap price i'm going to show you that you can you absolutely can find something to wear at secondhand shops thrift shops even 99 cent stores from very casual all the way to formal even ballroom think quinceanera think wedding and you know what enjoy yourself don't worry about what anybody has to say we're gonna have fun oh yes my name is Sharice welcome to my channel gracefully Sharice So the point of me making this video is to encourage you all and let you know that there is absolutely nothing wrong with thrifting. Sometimes people get embarrassed because, you know, for whatever reason, maybe they have to or maybe they just like to shop at thrift shops, secondhand shops, 99 cent stores, and just, you know, antique shops and different places like these. And I just wanted you guys to know that there's nothing to be ashamed about. Honestly, there's not. Thrifting can actually be fun. So I'm going to be showing you five different categories. Here they are. And please excuse my fashion terms. Just give me some time. I'll become a pro. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you some casual outfits. It's important. So fitness. Outfits that are also dressed up, maybe even for a lunch date. Next, I'm going to be showing you some classy dresses. Or they can also double as business. Depends on what you do with them. And I'm going to be showing you some formal slash ballroom outfits as well. Let's get to it without further ado. Let's start with casual. So the first outfit I have for you for the casual look is this pretty flowery flowy dress. I got this dress at a thrift shop. This is something that you can dress up or down. It is in my casual section because it is something that I can also see myself grocery shopping in or just going for a walk at the park and some flip-flops or, you know, just hanging out. It can be very casual. Now, the dress stretched out over time, which is why it's so long, but I will be sewing it. As for the butterfly, I added a butterfly pin to add some modesty up top. The earrings came in a three-pack, 99-cent store. As for the makeup, I kept it very simple. Let's bump it up a little bit. We're also going to throw in a beach hat. I got this beach hat from a 99 cent store. It's so big and it's so cute. Let's keep it going. Let's, let's show you the next outfit. So we're still looking at casual outfits. This next outfit was put together from a thrift shop, which are the jeans. You've seen these jeans before, but I had to bring them back. They were only $5.99, okay? And the blue shirt I got from a 99 cent store. So the blue shirt I got from a 99 cent store. I really just wanted to just try a pop of color. Just wanted to add some more to my wardrobe. And the good thing about shopping at places like these is if you just want to try something new out and you don't want to spend a lot doing it, then go to a 99 cent store, go to a thrift shop, and you could find that color that you want to try. And if you don't like it, then you will have only spent like under five dollars. In this case, 99 cents and some change. And you know that's in comparison to a shirt that might have cost $12, $20. Again, the jewelry comes from the 99 cent store. This was actually the medium size hoops. This is paired together with a half up, half down style. And this is a very youthful look, lip gloss, very simple, throwback to the 90s. And this shirt is very, very comfortable, by the way. <laughs> Okay, those are cute, those are comfortable, but let's move on to the next category. And by the way, if my hair starts doing a staticky thing, my hair has just been doing a lot lately, I just ignore it. <laughs> okay, while we're still being casual, I wanted to add this category here, and that is fitness, which is so very important. Like my updo? Had to match this category. So I found this cute two-piece at Dee Dee's Discounts. Seen it, thought it was cute, wanted something a little bright, and it was kind of like this denim print, and I thought, hey, why not try this out? 
it is stretchy very stretchy and it is pretty comfortable um a little bit of itchiness but that's just me i think but <laughs> i really like it so Whether or not I have my eyes and lips done to work out really depends on the day. But hey, if you like to get glammed up to work out, and if you decide, I don't sweat, I sparkle, <laughs> then do your thing, ladies. I really need to get back to like a consistent fitness routine. How many of you guys have to get back to one? Because I know I do. We're going to dress it up just a little bit. So let's get on to the next category. So next category, dressed up, lunch date, or something similar. So this first outfit is, I just love this. This is a romper or a jumpsuit. They're referred to as different things. I got it from Dee Dee's Discounts. Now Dee Dee's Discounts is considered a thrift shop and I absolutely love going there. They have so many cute things there. I feel like the quality is really good there as well. Burgundy, flowery, the material is nice and soft. They did have this in different colors. Something I love about this jumpsuit romper situation is that it has pockets. I absolutely love pockets. I don't know why, especially when pockets are not typically there. And I absolutely love it. You guys have seen this hat already if you watched one of my previous fashion videos. But just in case you haven't, I got this hat from Dee Dee's Discounts as well. So this is another accessory that was thrifted. This hat was actually $6.99. And I wanted to put it together with this outfit. I just thought it would, you know, add a little something something. Just a little flair to it, I guess. <laughs> Now let's talk about this pattern. I've seen this pattern a lot. It became pretty popular on dresses, on rompers, jumpsuits. These types of robes are using this pattern a lot as well and I absolutely love it. I just think it's cute, it's pretty. As for my jewelry, I decided to go with this Everfaith rhinestone brown gold tone jewelry set that I got from Amazon. It's really pretty, it has like a butterfly centerpiece. Adding some bold chunky jewelry as well as stylishly pulling your hair to the front, adding some layers like a hat, adds more modesty to off the shoulder outfits like these. As for my makeup, burgundy lipstick would have been really cute, however I decided to go with kind of a burgundy tinted lip gloss, which was very pretty and youthful for this look. Okay, next outfit in this same category, yellow dress. I got this from an antique shop. Guess how much it was? It was $2.99. It's so cute. It looks a bit old fashioned and that's why I loved it. A little fraily lacy situations it's, it was just cute to me we are starting off with black and gold accessories and speaking of accessorizing i got this backpack from Dee Dee's discounts yes another thrifted item as for makeup i went with bright red lips i think this shade of red is so pretty with the shade of yellow now we're going to switch up the colors uh, white and gold accessories. This gives it a whole new feel, kind of a beachy look. Beautiful gold and pearl sparkly earrings. Let's see the whole look together. But wait, hold up. I don't like being put in a box. I don't like putting other people in a box. I'm going to show you a little bit of a flashback of alternative pop rock Cherise. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I have her in me and I have the music to match. Yes for the net arm situations. Yes for the leather jacket and the big hair and the flower in the hair, the yellow eyeshadow, ignore the eyebrows. <laughs> My eyebrows were a disaster back then. Don't, okay, you can laugh, you can laugh. I, let's laugh together. So let's move on to the next category. This was fun. So if you like those things so far, just wait until you see the rest. 
Okay, so let's dress things up a little bit more. This next category is classy dresses. Or you can kind of make these businessy. Okay, first outfit. I absolutely love this. I got this from, drum roll please, 99 cent store. This is a really classy looking <laughs> navy blue dress. Underneath is a thin but not sheer, a thin navy blue material. And on top is a navy blue lacy material. By the way, this dress did shrink when I washed it. Now, this is not, okay, I repeat, this is not a regular belt. What you are seeing is actually crystal rhinestone ribbon and a shawl clip that I got from Amazon. I combined the two and I made me a belt. I already had these two things at home and sometimes if you don't have what you'd like, then hey, if you can, create it. I just thought this was really beautiful. I felt really royal. I really did. <laughs> I decided to keep it really simple with this pretty jewelry set that I got from Amazon. Headbands are from Amazon. They came in a four pack. Everything was already extravagantly lovely with all the big curls and the sparkles and the pearls. So I had to keep things simple, including with my makeup for this lovely dress. To think I found this at a 99 cent store. It was, I think, $2 and some change. To be that inexpensive, that cheap, and to find it at a 99 cent store, this was a, it was an absolute treasure and I just love it. So we are still on classy dresses. Now this particular dress, you can kind of dress it a little bit more down and make it casual. So it's about how you accessorize this one. This is just how you carry yourself. You are not showcasing the dress. The dress is showcasing you. Oh, <laughs> I got this from Dee Dee's Discount. So beautiful red dress. I really like it. It's really comfortable. I got this in more than one color. I got a yellow one as well, but I wanted to share this one. Beautiful shade of red. I love this dress. It is a soft material. I'm going to say it was somewhere around $12-ish. Dollars. <laughs> I don't know how I said that, but $12-ish. So I decided to wear the earrings that I have on now, little sparkly simple earrings, and these came from the 99 cent store. As for my makeup, I decided to be matchy matchy and go with a bright red, just like the dress. I thought this was really pretty. <laughs> Again, it's just about how you accessorize it, how you carry yourself, how you wear it. Oh, have fun, darling. <laughs> So I enjoyed those, but it's time to get formal. I just love formal dresses, so can't wait to show you guys these. So let's get right to it. So final category, formal slash ballroom. And there are different types of formal occasions, ballroom occasions. Here's the first dress. A long, beautiful, flowy dress. I really love this dress. This dress was also purchased at a thrift shop. Just look at the way this dress flows. It's so pretty. I just love it. This one's actually a little bit heavy. I really, really enjoy it. I like the detail at the top. It crisscrosses at the top. Fits very nicely. This shoe matched in color, but not so much in style, but I wanted to share it because it was super cool. The heart-shaped heel is beautiful, and it was also thrifted. Dear future husband, we're going out dancing. <laughs> now, the jewelry, you guys, this bracelet was actually a part of that simple jewelry set. I went without the necklace this time. And as for my makeup, I went with a fuchsia lip instead of with something pink or red, somewhere in between, and I thought it was beautiful. So last and certainly not least, the ballroom dress. This, this dress, you just feel like a fairy tale and the details are so pretty. 
it's a nice off-white color and it has like I don't know I don't know how to describe the color but the the designs on it are like a almost like a silverish goldish or a light gold very very pale gold maybe if you have a princessing business this is perfect absolutely love this dress ah. let me tell you the story behind this dress I went to a thrift shop and it was $36 okay at the time could not afford it so they were willing to knock half off $18 Still couldn't afford it so I went back and by the time I went back because I was gonna have it when I went back they were willing to knock it down to nine dollars so I got this ballroom dress King Senetta wedding um, stage plays I got it for nine dollars at a thrift shop and you, the thing is it fit me perfectly around the bust line and for the height only thing I did is I had to take it up at the sides. I sewed it a little bit and I tucked in the back piece because I wanted the, my back to show through the crisscrosses. And then I handmade a bow. I sewed it and I put the bow in the back. As for the jewelry, I kept it simple with the whole jewelry set from Amazon. The tiara I got from Walmart. It is an actual bridal tiara. And for the makeup, bright red lips. And if this were for an actual wedding, I think I would keep it simple for the kiss. Please understand if you really need to get something really formal and for whatever reason, no judgments here, you can't afford something really expensive, don't be afraid to try thrift shops or even antique shops. You never know what you can find and even if it's not exactly what you want, if it's kind of what you want and you know that it can be tweaked to be exactly what you want, I say go for it. Of course, I'm a Christian so I'm always going to say pray about things before you bring them into your home. but I just feel like it's an awesome option and I got this dress and it fit me nicely and it was beautiful and I just want to encourage you guys out there maybe you're in love and you just want to get married and you can't afford anything right now you know if, if the Lord leads you to get the dress get married you can always get remarried and have another ceremony again I'm not judging because everybody has different situations and circumstances in life this is a good option I just think just do what you need to do, any pure thing you need to do, and whatever you can afford, get it. If you love it, then go for it. So those were the outfits that I wanted to share with you. I hope this video has encouraged somebody and inspired somebody. You know, we all have different situations in life. I'm not here to judge. Trust me, I know. Sometimes you have financial issues. Sometimes you just don't have very much. But you know what? With God, we have everything, including ideas and including the inspirations and just things around us and we have the resources if you need to go to an antique shop a thrift shop a 99 cent store dollar tree you know to find something to wear so that you can enjoy yourself and enjoy a special occasion a celebratory moment or just to worse you know have something comfortable to wear don't be ashamed to do so we cannot go through life worried about what other people are going to say or what they're going to think about us only you, only you can live your life for you. Only you can enjoy your life for you. You were blessed with this life. So enjoy it in the purest and most fun ways. And sometimes that can be, you know, that it can include fashion. This is your life and only you can live it for you. Somebody needed to hear that. Okay, that's all for today. <laughs> and until next time, as always, whatever you do, do all things in love and gracefully. Bye.